here at Keating Labs, we're gonna do an experiment. We're gonna see if ice made from ordinary water, that is with two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, will float as well as it does on liquid water as it does on deuterium oxide, this dollar per milliliter fluid that I had to special order. Let's see if the ice floating here on ordinary water will float the same way or change in some way when we try to float our ordinary ice water on top of deuterium or heavy water. Let's pour the deuterium water into this container and see if it will float an ice cube in exactly the same way that ordinary hydrogen dihydrogen oxide did with ordinary hydrogen. So this is sinking and this is more, no, it does float, it floats better. So put it side by side, here's the deuterium oxide, which is more dense than ordinary liquid water over here. And you see our calibrated ice cubes are floating better in the deuterium oxide than they are in the ordinary water. Because this is more dense, this is more buoyant relative to the liquid, it will float better. So there's more of the iceberg, mini iceberg exposed here and it floats actually better. So there you have it, deuterium oxide. Expensive, more tasty, and better for flotation purposes. But beware, it's a lot more expensive to get your hands on this water than to go down to Starbucks and get a cup of venti ice water. Oh.